Isabel asks, how do you approach performance testing for native apps? I'm mostly mm -hmm. interested in network testing, simulating latency, 3G, 2G, et cetera, mm -hmm. and client side slash device performance testing. Also, unit performance testing. That's mm -hmm. a lot of performance testing. So, that's, how do you do that? That's a really tough one. Actually, yeah. performance testing itself is not an easy one, but looking at like mobile app performance testing, you basically have already set somehow this, the answer and the question. So it's not like the one performance testing uh, on, on one layer that you have to do. So basically you have three pillars of mobile performance testing. So first one is to test the performance of the app itself. In best case, it is, you do this in an isolated way. So you say you have a, a mocked API uh, where you get like really fast feedback from the API to do to the mocks. And then you can really concentrate on the app performance. Like what does it, needs the app to start from really from code start. So the app was not running in background and you hit, you tap the button and you see how fast the app can start or how, how fast your transitions from activity one to activity B is to measure that, that speed actually. So that's like one of the first things that you need to do in terms of performance testing on the app level. Then of course you have the network. This is one of the, the hardest part because this is in most cases not in your hands, except you're working for a carrier. <laughs> that may, might have an impact on, on, on direct connections on the mobile network. So for that, in that case, it's really hard to test actually the performance of the data network. What I usually did in the past was to actually use emulator simulators or we're using a, a proxy tool in between to throttle the, the, um, the responses from the backend. So say, okay, I want to test my app um, on a 2G network, for example. So it went to my proxy tool, set a throttle the network speed to that limit and then see what happened actually. But again, this is not really a performance test for networking side. This is something that is really hard to do. I can recommend to go to the emulator simulators to, to tweak the, the, the bandwidth there, but it, it's not the same as you do it in life. If you go on live, you walk around, you're in maybe on a train or in a park or in a city center, you have mm -hmm. all different kinds of networks and uh, speeds. So maybe this is really a tough one to actually to tackle. And then the third pillar or the, the last one is actually the server and API performance. So if you heavily depend on a backend service, which I think most of the apps do, uh, do in, this, in this time. So you should also take a look at the API to, to, to performance test the API, like how fast can the API respond to a request that you set up from any point in, in time and location. This is something to do. You could, for example, use Postman for that for Charles Proxy to, to, to get some information or even, even chain meter. And then you can just check the performance on the server side. And you have to see, okay, this is also something that you need to do in best case in the live environment because you cannot do the performance test on a staging system or on a virtual sandbox system, for example. So you need to sit closely with maybe with the site ops um, operation engineers to actually get a live server extracted from the from the full feature set or from the full um, data center and then do some performance testing on the server side as well to see that everything is as fast as you want to have it. So maybe you have some KPIs defined that uh, so response time must be below, I don't know, two milliseconds or something like that. So anything that is in, in your mind and all these three pillars together, then this is for you actually good mobile app performance, I would say, right? And unit test performing, sure, you can do unit test performing, you can do profiling once you hit, um, you execute a unit test. So you can say, okay, I start entering the unit and then once I left the unit, I, I do the stop thing with tools for sure. And then you can measure the performance of each and every unit. And then you can start tweaking it maybe with different algorithms or with different um, implementations, different way of implementations. Um, but this is also something I would rather sit together with your developers and to do it in a pair, in a pair session, because they know best maybe the architecture of the app and also of the classes and the units. And you know best maybe the, the testing side, and then you can, you can pair up and, and support each other in that. So yeah, I hope this answers your questions, Isabel. If not, uh, let me know in the, the club later on. And yeah, we can take it from there. Yes, indeed. That's a great point. Thank you, Daniel. If any questions you don't get to will appear in the club. So that's the club, that's club.ministryoftesting.com.